real estate wise, how do you leverage your time nowadays to accomplish the ridiculous amount of stuff that you accomplish? Um, are you, are you outsourcing stuff to like Fiverr type companies or how do you leverage your time? Let me just open it like that. Man, the, the first thing I'll say is this to people who, who watch, who aspire to get to the level of doing multiple things and having a team. It's infinitely more challenging, we can say, and difficult now than it was when I was a solo agent cranking out 30, 40 homes a year, right? You're resp I'm responsible for other people now. I obviously have to pay them. My profit margins are, are thinner and I have a lot more on my plate. And with more money comes more responsibility. I just, I just want to say that because a lot of people think, oh, once I start my team and I leverage, it's all rainbows and sunshine and I can just chill and sit margaritas all day and not do anything. I'm infinitely more in quotes busy now than I was before. So it's all about number one, being extremely diligent and punctual with my schedule. Because now with all the things I'm doing in different areas, if I'm off 20, 30 minutes here, it throws off the rest of the fucking day. Cause it's, you know, real estate in the morning. Then I do my, my, my boxing or uh, physical activities. Then I have a meeting uh, with my team and we cover some more things Then we go on appointments right? And do some other things. And I have interviews or talks set up with people. Then I do some social media stuff. Then it's YouTube and all the other obligations that I have. So it's very just boom, 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 boom. So if I'm late or I miss something now, it's like the domino effect and all the dominoes fall over. So mm. what you need to do to the individual is find out the first lowest income producing activity that you can outsource and work your way up the ladder. That's what I did. So first it was an assistant. I got a part-time assistant to do administrative activities, handle emails, you know, any incoming calls from, from agents, handle the sign calls on all my listings. I trained her on how to do it. Um, then came bringing on another agent to help me with buyers. Then it was training my girlfriend, right, Loida, to actually work with listings because I saw the potential. And now she's doing that, right? So now I'm not going on every listing appointment. I'm sending her on a lot of them, right? Um, so it's really about itemize, create an itemized list of all the activities that you do. And for a real estate agent, obviously prospecting, negotiating, and going on appointments is going to be the top three for income producing, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the step before that is you need to calculate how much you're worth. And a lot of people are scared to do that because they're afraid that number is going to be very low. And I did it. <laughs> the first time I did it, I think I was worth $130 an hour. And I was like, dude, this is dope. I'm going door to door cold calling. And even if they tell me, no, I'm worth 130 bucks an hour, that lit a fire under my ass. And within a year, I think I, I doubled it or almost tripled it, what I was worth. Mm -hmm. So from there, you see, and you look at your list, you're like, okay, every day I'm spending 30, 45 minutes sending emails. That's not worth $130 an hour. That's fucking $10 mm -hmm. an hour. Let me outsource that, right? So now I have a transaction coordinator and a virtual assistant. And my virtual assistant is a dual assistant because she does our real estate stuff and she handles my personal stuff, like setting up, again, speaking gigs and all that stuff. So that's all I did. I just created that list and from the bottom, I worked my way up and just brought people on and said, hey, if I make them $130 an hour and I get an extra hour here, I can afford to pay that lady 10 bucks an hour to do that administrative activity. It's basic math, right? And you just have to be very disciplined and actually sit down with yourself and write it down, which goes back to what we talked about earlier. People don't want to do that. They're lazy. That's mm -hmm. how simple is that what I just said? And they would think mm. oh, it can't be that simple. That's the first response I get. <laughs> okay. Then. What answer do you want me to give you? I have a magic fucking Harry Potter wand that I just wave over everything and it just becomes magical. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Expel Ramas, bitches. <laughs> <laughs>